in New Jersey. All right, guys. So happy Saturday and welcome to Saturday training. As you guys know, we do this every Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 12. So make sure you have it set in your calendar or somewhere where you can remind yourself that each and every week you get the dosage that you need to go and run it up each and every week to have success so that you know exactly what you're doing, uh, whether it be, you know, on the phones or in the field. Um, but you get the proper training that you need to run an efficient and successful FFL business. So again, welcome to Saturday training, guys. Um, and just again, again, guys, get as many people on here as possible. It's good to have your team as well as yourself on here so that you don't have to double back and have a second conversation. Everybody can get the same message all at once, okay? So um, again, great job for getting on. As you guys know, I always start with the top 10, right? So uh, between... This is between, and we need some more logos, guys, all right? So between Fury, High Voltage, Dream Team, and Blitz, we have a top 10. Coming in at number 10, Jasmine C, Three Families Help. Great job, Jasmine. Lucy Brigman, number nine, Four Families Help. Jamar Sims, Five Families Help. Number seven, myself, Eight Families Help. Number six, Yvette B, great job, Eight Families Help. Joshua Khan, number five. Yes, eight families help. Number four, Previs. Great job, Previs. Eight families help. All right, number three, our very own EVP, Kali. Nine families help. Number two, Eugene Marshall. Eleven families help. And guys, there can only be one number one. Michael Taplin, 13 families help for the week. All right, so great job, guys. Listen, you two can be in the top 10. We are no different. We just decided to work the system and run the numbers, and you can too, okay? So great job to you guys. All right, guys, so before we actually jump into what we have going on today, you want to make sure your team is on for this one because we got a lot of information to give to you that's very, very, very important. Um, but the first thing before we actually jump into that that I want to talk about, guys, is live dials. As you know, the Telegram has been popping off with people helping family, right? A lot of people, especially we got a lot of new writers and guys, it's because of live dials, all right? We are on there each and every day, all right? Starting at, well, we get on at 9 a.m. I know Josh gets on at 7.30, right? So if you're an early riser and you can get on at 7.30, you wanna get, get it done as soon as possible. I know Josh is normally done like around 10 a.m., 11 a.m., <laughs> maybe even sooner, right? Um, and then you can also hear from us as well, where we jump on at nine o'clock and you can get your day booked, okay? You can also learn what to say, what not to say, how to handle objections, guys. And it's almost like your favorite song. When you hear your favorite song over and over again, you eventually know the words. Well, guys, it's the same with live dials. And when you hear us book enough appointments and, 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 and set the appointments or help families over the phone, eventually you start to spew out the same things that we're saying, right? But you also have to go to work, right? So you get a chance to live dials and let us critique you so that you know exactly what you're doing to have success. And that's the reason why everybody that you see in Telegram that's posting Families Help, it's a, it's a direct result of live dials. So if you haven't made a decision to plug in, start now, right? And, and be consistent so that you can have a consistent income and a consistent business. So that's live dials, guys. It's the same um, code as what we're on right now and we will be on right after this, okay? Um, the next thing I wanna talk about, guys, is submitting your numbers. We're still having trouble, guys, with people submitting their numbers or even submitting it on time, okay? It is from Wednesday, no, I'm sorry, Thursday to Wednesday. I'm sorry, Wednesday to Thursday. <laughs> I think that's right, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, I always get that messed up. Wednesday to Thursday. It is from Thursday. So okay. Thursday started a new week yeah. to Wednesday at midnight. Thank you. Thursday to Wednesday, guys. I have it set on my <laughs> on my phone, but Thursday to Wednesday. You need to have your numbers in, right? When Wednesday night. All right. Wednesday night. Everybody has things going on in the morning time and you'll forget. So put them in Wednesday night so that you don't forget. Okay, we're having too many people um, post their numbers after eight o'clock on Thursday. 
And it's just insane to me. And, and you won't be recognized for your numbers so that we can all be on one accord. And as a team, make sure your numbers are in every Wednesday night and put it somewhere where you can remember. The next thing I want to talk about, guys, is work spots. All right. I don't know if you've been seeing it, but work spots, like almost every other day, has been coming out with a discount code for you to get discounts on these leads. Guys, you save so much money by using work spots. Not only, and please take a screenshot of this, okay? You have not only access to an office that's close to you for you to plug into an environment, right? You can also connect with top producers in that local office to find out what they're doing to have success. You get free weekly live training, right? You get free access to Wi-Fi. And then also you get discounts on the leads, which is so important. The leads are already affordable but you also get a discount on them and you save a ton of money. So why not get a bigger return on your investment by making sure you have work spots, which is only $99 a month, okay? All the information is here for you. The next thing I wanna talk about, guys, I know I spoke about this before, is HCMS. Guys, this is very important. I'm seeing a lot of people haven't put their carriers in HCMS. If you don't know how to do it, go to the license checklist and look at how to upload your, your carriers that you have into HCMS. If you do not upload your carriers to HCMS, guys, the company, um, FFL and the carriers will not be able to recognize you as an agent and you will get paid as earned, okay? So make sure after this, or when you have some time today, Make sure all your carriers are in HCMS so you don't get paid as earned. And if you don't know what that means, that means you're not getting a full advance. You're only getting paid when the client pays their policy each and every month, all right? Which is, is not, it's not a good thing. So make sure your carriers are in HCMS. Again, if you don't know how to do that, go to the checklist. That's the license checklist on the agent hub. All right, guys. And then the next thing that I want to talk about is um the last announcement is the sales conference that we have coming up here let me actually go to it do you have the flyer colleen all right guys if you are in if you are close to new jersey or in new jersey or know someone in new jersey guys get them to this sales conference it is going to be massive if you think the one we had in maryland was awesome this is going to be awesome as well, right? And you saw how many people came out of this the conference that we had in Maryland and started producing even new writers, right? So the same is going to go for this one. You want to make sure you're there. We have tons of integrity partners, but also top, produ top producers, including myself and Kali and alongside of others in the business that are going to be speaking. So if you know some single mothers, if you know some married couples, if you know some single dads, if you know some fathers, if you know business owners, and we have so many people here that come from a different background that's gonna have that's gonna say something on stage that's going to change someone's life. And the more people you have there, the better. But also get yourself there too. Get uncomfortable so that you can get the information you need to go out and have success. It's like going to an all-star game, right? Nobody goes to the regular games. They want to go to the all-star games, right? Because they want to, if you want to learn how to play basketball, why wouldn't you go play with Michael Jordan? Why wouldn't you go listen to Michael Jordan, right? It's the same thing here. We have the Michael Jordans of the insurance business and FFL. You get a chance to go here to hear what you need so that you can have the best business in FFL and you can run it up from wherever position you're trying to play here, whether it be spare time, part-time, or even full-time. Okay, guys? So make sure you're there. Screenshot this. Get it out to your families and friends and let's rally everybody there so we can have another amazing event and we can have more producers and leaders popping out of uh, Fury, High Voltage and the other teams that we have, Dream Team and Blitz, so we can get some more logos on the board. Because what that means, guys, if we have more logos coming out, our team is growing. But guess what? You're growing your income and you're growing your business and you're helping families, including your own. So make sure you're there, okay? Um, and that's going to be June 23rd. All right, guys, I don't want to take any more time away from what we have to go over today. Um, the first speaker that we're going to have, guys, is our very own EVP. As you guys know, I stick very close to her. She is literally one of the best in this business. 
Um, you know, the fact that we get a chance to hear from her and what we need to do to have to, to be on track. If you want to be where she is or even come close to it, guys, you want to hear what she has to say. All right. And when we say things, guys, take this information and go apply it so that you too can have the success and understand how you need to move forward in your business. Like I always tell her, she is going to be one of the first African American women integrity partners. I don't see anyone else up there uh, other than myself. I'm right behind her, Holly Somerville. Thank Take you. Away, Ryan. You're welcome. <laughs> hey guys, um, good morning. I'm so glad that you got on this morning because it's really who the winners are because it's a holiday weekend, right? And some people are treating this like a holiday weekend versus, you know, I talked when previous got on this morning, previous said he don't care what time he got to do an application. He'll wake up early in the morning to get it done. Like this is a business right. and McDonald's, McDonald's is open. You know, most McDonald's are open early in the morning to late at night, right? And they don't close on the Memorial Day or Memorial Day weekend, right? So good job on keeping your business open this weekend because what, I'm gonna, what we're gonna go over today, everybody needs to have their notepads out because this is very important. Um, because we're going to be really talking about some compliance stuff today and things that we don't, I guess, kind of like the things that are like FFL behind the scenes stuff, right? You get an FFL and we got this great comp and this great, you know, this great company, but we got to manage our business, right? And so, <clears throat> like I said, today we're talking all about, about, you know, making sure that you're doing what you need to do as well as your teammates, right? So I know last week we talked about um, who wanted to build a business, right? And I think about half the people on the call raise their hand a little bit more than half. So to much as I would tell people, to much is given, much is required, right? So when I'm going to talk about, I forgot what I called it yesterday, recruiting, like the, I'm going to talk about the dangers of recruiting, right? And what I don't want anybody to do, right? Because somebody's want to take that, take this and change it in their mind to something that what I'm not saying, right? So don't don't take what I'm going to say personally, because this is a business conversation. And then think about the the positive. I'm, I'm gonna talk about the negatives of recruiting, but there's bigger positives than there are negatives. But I want you guys to understand what to look for, right? So <clears throat> anybody. <clears throat> Most of you all have never experienced roll up debt. I know the company that we came from, if someone had chargebacks, and let me start for the brand new people. Does everybody, well, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna act like everybody doesn't know. I, let me explain what a chargeback is, right? <clears throat> so let's you. I'm gonna use myself for example. If I write a policy, Right. And say, and I'm just going to use very, very flat numbers. So the math makes sense. I write a policy and that's a hundred dollars a month. That's twelve hundred dollars for the year. And the insurance company is going to pay me seven, the first nine months up front. So if it's a hundred dollars a month and they pay me for nine months, that means I'm going to get paid nine hundred dollars on that policy. Does that make sense to everybody? OK, so <clears throat> they're paying me. In a lot of cases, they're, well, in, in all cases, they're paying me for nine months and the client hasn't paid for their policy for nine months. They've only paid the first month payment, right? However, so they're giving, they're loaning you money, y'all. It's a loan because if the client cancels the policy, let's say on month six, they've already, they've already paid you out $600. They paid you out 900. Client cancels on month, month six, they, or let's say month seven, They've only made six payments. And so that means now you owe the insurance company $300. Everybody understand that part? So that $300, it, they're not gonna go in your, thank God they don't go in your bank account and take it, which in some cases I feel like they should do. <laughs> they're just gonna take, they're gonna keep, they're gonna subtract that $300 from your next commission check, right? So you write another policy that's $100 a month. Instead of them paying you $900, they're going to pay you $600. So everybody understands the chargeback, right? So the beauty of this business is we have the, op we have the opportunity to write business on our own pen, um, but we can also build an organization. We can build a team, right? So I recruited Corinne 
and Kareem recruits other people and the, the, the cycle goes on and on, right? So just so you guys understand the power of recruiting in three years in this agency between Fury, High Voltage, FFL Blitz, FFL Dream Team, there are over 600 licensed agents in this organization, right? So, so when there's that many people, there's also people that aren't coming in here with the best intention. <clears throat> so some people don't want to go to work, but they want to make the fast money. And so I'm going to tell you and write this down. Somebody put this in the chat. If you would not, if you would not co-sign on a loan with this person, do not recruit them into your business. And I'm going to tell you why in a minute. If you would not call, if this, if this person that you want to recruit, and this is somebody, especially, we don't know, you know, unfortunately, we don't know people in the cold market and how they, how they might act, you know what I'm saying, what they might do. And people seem very honest, and they're not always. And I believe that most people, and I know most people are honest, <clears throat> and they want to do the right thing. But there are a few bad apples, and that's what we're talking about, right? So again, if you would not, if you would not co-sign on a car for them, do not bring them into your business. Because with this, with the kind of overrides we get and the kind of money we make, if they leave, they're going to leave you a, a, a basically a loan that's probably close to what a car would cost. Okay? I'm going to tell you why. So in the, with the company we came from, if somebody left and they had a chargeback, that would roll up to the vice president. Right, so let's use, I'm gonna use Previs for example. Previs is, a, a, is Previs, then it's Junior and Tierra, then it's Previs, right? So if, if in the other company, if Previs would have left his charge back, left, left, left the company, I was about to say the company. If, <laughs> if Previs would have left the company and left his $300 balance, that would have rolled up to me, the vice president. Here, it does not work that way. It's going to roll up to the upline, to the next person above previous. Does that make sense? So that's what, so that's what I'm saying. If you would not co-sign on a car, and then we're not talking about $300 here, guys. We, we're able to make a lot of money in a very short period of time. That it also means that people that are dishonest are able to, to make a lot of money in a very short period of time and then roll out and leave that debt. Okay? So... <clears throat> Let's say I'm gonna use a kill for example. A kill comes in. A kill is a kill is direct to me, right? A kill comes into the business. He comes in and he writes all a lot of bad business because you can write bad business. A kill writes business to people that they can't afford the policy for real. He and he's making up stuff, making up information, and it ends up being bad business. A kill rolls out now because now the stuff is starting to charge back, right? It started charge back, charge back, charge back. Akil said, I'm not, he don't want, because Akil's not honest, and this is not Akil, but I'm just using Akil for example. Akil's not honest, so Akil don't care that that debt that, that hits me. Now I got $10,000 that I that Akil made, that Akil put in his bank account, but I got to pay it back because Akil is direct to me. Does everybody understand this? Okay. So not to, and this, this conversation is not to scare you guys, right? Because I know some people like, ah, well, then I'm not going to recruit, right? <laughs> I know some people are thinking that. I'm not going to recruit if I got to take that chance, da, 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 da. But guess what? Scared money don't make money. And I can tell you the people that have the most roll up debt have the most people on their team and make the most money, period. Frank Euphemia, which probably, well, maybe some of y'all know, but most of you guys don't know. Frank is the is on top of all of F, all of the people. He's FFL national, right? So everybody in on this call is under Frank in some form or fashion, right? Frank makes about two million dollars a year, but Frank has three hundred thousand dollars in roll up debt. Do the math. Would you take that opportunity to make two million dollars minus three hundred thousand, and does that leave him with one point seven million? Do the math, right? Mike File makes, I think Mike told me he makes about, he, last year I think he made about 800000 Mike says right now he has about $100,000 in roll-up debt. 800000 minus minus a hundred leaves him with seven hundred. Who, like, do the math, right? Myself, like, I'm in and out, I'm in and out of roll-up debt, right? 
I had four. I had the, my latest raw debt was forty thousand with one company. I think mean, it's a it's a lot, right? But last year I made three hundred and sixty five thousand dollars. Do the math, right? So if you want to build an organization, there's like a, a you got to pay to play, and if you play, but you want, but you also want to manage this like a business because, like I said, everybody doesn't come in here with the best intentions. Everybody doesn't come in here to go to work. Some people just see this as a, a dollar sign and they don't care. They don't want to make it through hard work. They want something to be given to them. And if they do it here, if they do it somewhere else, they'll do it here too, especially here. Does anybody have any questions, guys? Because this is very, very important. And one, this is, let me give you a clue, right? If you, like America pays us pretty quickly, but if you start to get, if you start to get, um, to the point where like you're getting overrides that don't seem right, right? All of a sudden you get these crazy big overrides. You need to look into it and see who in your downline is producing this. Because you got some people that will come and we've had this, come in, get contracted, never say anything and write a bunch of fake business and roll out and leave it. One of the agents on the team, one of the agents in our organization, because they he had, she had three guys, one guy had another guy had another guy, three guys who all wrote $10,000 in bad America business and they just rolled out. So that equals 30,000 and roll up debt to her because all of them got terminated at the same time. And when America terminated them, guess what? The money rolled up to her because that is what will happen as well. So let me talk about that part really quickly. Like, and, and Corinne's probably gonna go over this some more, but if you, you everybody on here, you guys have a life insurance license. You are licensed with whatever state that you are in, right? Which means you are fiduciary. You have a fiduciary responsibility to be honest, trustworthy. All, all of us, when we took the test, we went through this every two years. And if you've had your license for a long time, continue education. You got to talk you, like you hear this over and over and over again, right? So when you do stuff like that, I'm going I'm to get you in a minute, Akil. When you do, when you, if you're somebody who's dishonest and comes in and leaves that, that's a felony, depending on the amount, right? You can go to jail for writing fake business. Like, let's not get it twisted because you have a state license and you have a, the state is saying, we trust you enough to give you a license to be able to collect people's social security number, their banking information. We trust you to do, to do good business. And so if you, if, if you are doing fake business, you can go to jail for that. But get, getting terminated from the carrier, you go to jail. And here's the other thing that happens. When you leave debt, this is the part of people think, oh, I'm not, oh, I'm not worried about it. Okay, so when you leave debt with one company, they put a vector out on you. And a vector is basically like the life insurance um, collections people, right? So what Mutual Omaha will do, oh, you got a vector? Oh, we're going to terminate you too. And then Transamerica will say, oh, you got a vector with that? We got, you got a vector with America? We're going to terminate you too. So it's not just affecting the one company. It's a, it's a domino effect. And eventually, guess what? You have no carriers and you have no way to pay off the, the, the debt that you incurred. Because remember, guys, they, the insurance companies are paying you up front. And they're paying you a lot, especially with the contracts that we have here. They're paying you a significant amount up front. Americo and Americo stopped doing it. Amer if so, so when, when, and it was because it was so much debt that was coming from Americo, Americo would advance, and this is, if you are recently contracted, Americo would used to advance you up to $3,500. They would pay you before the, they, and they weren't, um, they didn't have any kind of check on a bank account number. So they, so you could put any kind of, you, as long as the routing number is right, you can put any number in for the checking account and they would pay you the very next day before the client. And then you could post date the payment and they would pay you before the client got paid, right? Before the, before anything even hit the client's account or the fake account, right? So someone, and we've had people do it. People will come in in a week, right? 20,000 with America and then roll out. And then guess what? That leaves a kill who the person that under a kill that did that that leaves a kill with, again, a car note, a car payment, a $20,000 debt that he, and he didn't make $20,000 on that sale. The person that he, only thing he did was override, 
right? And so now Akil is responsible for paying the twenty thousand dollars back. And then if Akil doesn't pay it, then the same thing's gonna happen to Akil. Akil's gonna get terminated. He's gonna get a vector, and then it's going he's gonna start losing his carriers. So again, as much much is given, much is required. So that's why I said if you're gonna if you're gonna recruit somebody, especially in your warm market. Make sure this is somebody who you who you would do business with uh, outside of this business, right? And this is somebody that you trust, right? Somebody who said, if they said to you, hey, Akil, would you um, co-sign on the car for me? Yeah, bro, because I trust you. You know what I'm saying? Akil said, no, he's not doing it anyway. So, <laughs> but y'all get the picture, right? Because we are talking about you know, it's, it got to be so, and I wouldn't do that either, Kill. Like, it's very few people that I would go sign on the car. Like, it's probably one person that I would, maybe two, that I would probably not even my son. But, <laughs> and I trust them. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's asking for a lot. But just make sure these are people that you, that are trustworthy, that are they're people that you know, they have good character, and they have good integrity. Because, again, they're going, it's not going to affect, because they're going to leave and go about their business and then you're left holding literally holding the bag for what they did any questions about uh, when they say kill said is there payment plans i think what she said to kill um yeah so the you can you can um set up a payment plan with the carriers um but the, like the carrot like so for for example when i had that forty thousand dollar debt to kill the the pay they wanted five they wanted me to pay them five thousand dollars a month, which I agreed to do because I can't lose I can't afford to lose America, right? So I was going to do it, but again I'm paying because the, the 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 debt came from, it was not it was three or four levels deep. It was it was me, Corinne, Lakinia, and the people under Lakinia, and it rolled all the way up to me. Right. And so, and it's a long story how that happened, but don't worry about that. But it was a $40,000 debt for people that I never even met in my life. Right. And I think that's probably the real thing that you, that's why I say you want to look and make sure you're checking your back office. And if you get some kind of crazy override, that just doesn't make sense. Like as many people as I have, my overrides are if, cause it, cause I have small spreads over my leaders. I don't have a big spread in between. So my over my, I might get it I, like from America. I might get a $200, $300 override check, right? It's not that it's not that much. I get them daily, but it's not that much. The other day I got one that was $1,400. And I was like, hold up. Like, even though I like that kind of money in my bank account, let me be smart and take a look and see why do I, why all of a sudden do I have a $1,400 override when I'm get, used to getting two, three, dollars $400 overrides? Does that make sense? And I know I didn't, I didn't write an AmeriCorps policy that day. Right. So if I would have written one and got a four hundred dollar check, that makes sense. But I didn't write any miracle policy. So something's different. Let me take a look and see. And then, guys, you also have the because you, if you if you agree to recruit somebody, you're their manager. So you have the right to if something doesn't look right, because you can go in your back office and see the policy details. You have the right to call the client and confirm that it's real. Right. And if you need guidance on that, you know, say you have that situation. Let us know, but you have the right to you. I have the right a kill rice business, and it looks kind of funny. I can call. Hey, ha, this is Kali Somerville I'm calling for Family First Life. I'm calling just to confirm. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? I can do that because that because a kill is a part of my business, and if a kill is writing, if a kill is writing bad business, then that affects me. So I have the right to go into his business and ask some questions to make sure that this client is a legit client. Any more questions, guys? I saw another question. I had a quick one. Uh, yeah. Kylie. So with us having the E and O insurance, is that does that pretty much protect us from like fraudulent roll ups? Is that is that no. kind of or no? Or? Nothing to do with that. E and O is to protect you if you write if you write like if you make a mistake on an application, errors and omissions insurance. Okay. It don't have nothing to do with roll up that. Understood. Okay. Cool. And, and Kylie, question, with though. that, at the same time, will they still advance you when you make the payment plan? So do you mean if it's your debt or if it's roll-up debt? Someone else's roll-up debt. So let's you use the same hypothetical. You made a five five thousand dollars a month, but you still do business with Mutual Omaha. Will they still advance you? They will. Okay. Yeah, I mean they, and that's the thing. the The stuff doesn't terminate. Like you're not gonna get term, or the people are not gonna get terminated from the carriers until 
first of all, if they see that, like, this, the part that you guys don't know, and I just, found, I just found this out, like, these carriers are monitoring the business, right? So with the, the recent incident that we had with some, with some fraudulent business, America has been watching them since February. They didn't just start watching them, and it's because they triggered something in their system that didn't make sense. Right. And so they kept triggering, triggering, triggering. And eventually America said, nope, you're terminating. But Akil, if you just have debt, if you have a, if you know, if you have all if you, this, a part of the business is having debt. Right. The, 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 the thing to the, the carriers will not terminate you if you're writing good business. Right. And if you are also continuing to write business, the problem is people, what people do is, oh, I have a debt with America. So I'm not going to write any AmeriCo business. I'm just going to write Bishop of Omaha. And then you just let that debt sit. And then when you let the debt sit or let the negative balance sit, then they assume that you rolled out. So then they will terminate you, right? But if you communicate with the carrier, communicate with your manager, right? Because here's another thing. If, you, if you've never, none of us have ever, from what I understand, I don't think anybody on this phone has made the kind of money that you're making here in your life, right? So that also means you probably, if you, even if you've been in the insurance business before, you haven't seen this level of, 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 of um, chargebacks either, right? So if you, have, if you have a significant, and I'm gonna say a significant amount of chargebacks is you have, let's say over $3,000. Talk to your man, talk to me and talk to Corinne because there are options that help you get out of that debt. But if you just keep it to yourself, we can't help you. And you're trying to dig out of this hole that you've never dug out before. And then next thing you know, you're terminated from the carrier because you just, you didn't say anything. So trust me when I say like, and it, like the other day I had zero, my, my, my American commission was at zero. And then I ended up having a charge back for $2,500, just like that. And it's from, uh, it's from all these people on the team, right? But I know what to do when I end up in this kind of debt. If you've never had this kind of debt before with an insurance carrier, reach up and reach out and ask the question so we can help you come up with a plan to get it paid off so you don't end up in the situation that I'm referring to. Good question, Akil. Um, any more questions? So we're gonna turn over to Corinne. She's gonna talk, to, I might've talked about the stuff she's gonna talk about. <laughs> but um, any more questions? All right, well, I, no, okay, perfect. I'm going to I turn it question. over to the, to the, the, I have the a question. you got a question? Yeah, is there any um, way to like do collections so like on people who roll you debt and stuff like that? There is, yep. So good question, Lakinia. Um, So there are several collection <laughs> agencies um, that we do have access to when you have somebody who leaves debt. Because again, that it's not fair for them to just roll out. Like there, there's some consequences behind it. Um, so, and it depends on the amount of debt. And if you're somebody who does have roll up debt, like I don't think a bunch of you have roll up debt from your downline. Um, but if you do have that type of debt, like again, reach up and have a conversation about what's going on in your business because most likely I've seen it before, Corinne has seen it before. And if we haven't, Mike File has seen it before or Frank has seen it before, right? So don't try to figure out on your own. Let us help you navigate it because it, it, and it, and it could be, the other thing about having that level of debt is it can, it can feel very overwhelming, right? Especially if you're, not, if you're not making that much money, it feels like a lot, right? When I got 40,000, I was like, oh God, oh, like that was, I was, it was a lot. But I also knew that there was options for me to get rid of that debt. And how I, you know what I'm saying? So again, don't like, don't sit there and try to dig out. And, and uh, again, yourself too, right? I'm talking about yourself. You end up having chargebacks with America and chargebacks with this company and you don't know what to do. Talk to your manager, talk to your upline so that you can pay, so we can help you come up with a plan to get the debt paid off. I saw a couple more questions. Um. Okay. How can you pay the chargebacks if you don't get any clients that qualify for the company you owe? Mm, 
Mary, if you are running, a, if you consistently run in business 30 appointments a week, you're going to find clients that qualify for the company that you owe. I guarantee. But the, and that's another problem. They, let me let let, <laughs> let me go into. The, I think no, maybe I'll let Corinne go into it. Corinne, can you talk? Can you talk about how being inconsistent and not running this like a business will end you up in trouble with your own chargebacks? Yes. So great day, everybody. All right. So just to um, piggyback off of a lot of the stuff that Kali said, let me start here by saying first. Um, Make sure you have that conversation with myself or Kali or your leader, um, because if you, with, especially with Americo, they pay next day. If you don't have that conversation and you get terminated, you got to wait six months to, to even get contracted with them again. So that should let all of you know, you don't want it to get to the point where you get terminated because then you have to wait six months. That's a long time to, have, to be without a carrier that's going to pay you daily. Okay. That's number one. Number two, to answer um, Mary's question, you have to buy leads, guys. I, I don't care how much you, you know, you write, you, you have a great week with referrals. The next week is not going to look like that week. If you want your business to be predictable and consistent, you want your income to be predictable and consistent, you, you can, there is no getting around buying leads. You have to buy leads. And when you buy leads, and when I talked about this last week, if you weren't on last week, you need to buy 100 to 150 for one run day, for a dial day for one run day, okay? Because then when you book your eight to 10 appointments, there is someone in there that's gonna qualify for America. There is someone that's in there that's gonna qualify for Mutual of Omaha. How do I know this? I've been running eight to 10 appointments every run day. There are people that qualify, but the problem is when you don't buy leads, then it's hard to find people and it's hard to write those, it's hard to write those companies or just companies in general. And it's hard to even see what, you know, what your potential earning is each and every week and each and every month because you're not consistently getting referrals. Some people give you re referrals, some people don't, but guess what? There's always leads in the CRM and you can still get referrals, guys. It'll actually grow your, grow your money, grow your income. I'm not saying you can't do it, but I, what I do know and what's a fact is your business will be consistent and predictable when you buy leads. It also helps with chargeback. So if you have chargeback, now you have more people to go and see. Um, okay, I wanted to knock that out real quick. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, it honestly, it takes way more effort to do this business the wrong way and to, to do fraudulent business than to actually do it the right way. Um, so, and I know I might be all over the place, but my, my goal is to touch on every point here. Um, and I know Kali had touched on a few of the other points. Um, so guys, if you notice some new people on your team writing business, okay, <laughs> and they're writing business consistently and you never showed them how to write an application, that's a red flag. Okay. We want to talk about some red flags here. Okay. Go, and just like Kali said, go in your back office, check the application, check the client, make sure the address matches up. To the person i do fast people search i'll go i'll type in the name i make sure the address matches the person i'll make sure the phone number matches the person i'll even call the phone number to make sure it's real guys you want to make sure you do that before you turn around and you see 20 grand go right out the window that you have to pay back that you didn't make okay so be very it, it, into your business and on your business and and understand this too here's another red flag if you're bringing somebody in the business and they don't know how to check their emails and they, they're not wanting to read their emails, more than likely when they write business, they're not going to read their emails to help and satisfy and serve their clients or even pay their chargebacks. Okay. These are little red flags that I've noticed bringing people on, um, but that you too can adopt so that you don't have to go through the things that we've gone through learning the hard way. Like I told you guys, we have stepped on all the landmines so you don't have to. Okay. But for some reason, we just have people that love stepping on landmines. You love blowing yourself up and we don't want that to happen to you, okay? So take what we're saying and use it and also teach your team as well, right? Um, some more red flags, guys. The application process, we noticed too. Make sure that when you're doing the application process, this is even for yourself. If you are doing it virtually or over the phone, you need to choose the remote e-app product 
or the virtual or telesale options on the e-application, okay? These companies are checking that. You could easily be terminated, and it, it's also considered fraudulent when you're helping someone over the phone or through Zoom, but you're doing a face-to-face -face application. And e we've had we've even had people signing the signing the actual policies for the client, which is which is also fraud. They do check that, all right, as well to make sure that the signatures are consistent. Um, so make sure you are doing the right thing. Again, it takes way way more effort to do the wrong thing than it does to do the right thing. Here's what I noticed also too as well. You want to make sure you're um you're 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 doing this. If you're not yet, if you're not a trainer, if you don't have a logo, if you're not a sales manager, I recommend all of you guys doing this. I don't care how good you think you are or how good you that we think you are, right? You want to make sure that when you're in the home, right, you need before you even sell a client a product, call your product specialist, call us, call the hotline. Because what happened was I got a phone call this week from an agent. Okay, I'm not gonna throw her out there, but this is this is very important. I got a call from an agent. She did not post her numbers or that she closed her sale in the group chat. So I would have never known had, had I not asked, right? But she sold the client AIG and the client only had high blood pressure. Okay. And I know some people like selling AIG because it's a convenient application. There's no medical questions, but you, you have to understand that guys, AIG is a guaranteed product. There is a two year wait. So if something happened to that client in the first two years and they pass away of a natural cause, the, the, the family is only getting the premiums that they paid into the policy plus 10%. They're not getting the full benefit. So you got to make sure you're calling your product specialist in the home and doing the right thing because these families, if they're not, if, if they're not getting paid out, that's on you. If their policy is not paying out because you sold them the wrong product, that falls on you. And I don't know about you, but I would hate that if somebody, if I wasn't in insurance and somebody came and sold my mother uh, a two-year or a graded policy when she could have she could have had an immediate coverage plan. You wouldn't like it, so don't do it to other people. So you need to call your product specialist. If you don't know what to say, li listen, these clients love it. Hey, listen, I'm gonna treat you just like I would treat my own mom or my own dad. Right. I have an idea about the company that I want to put you in, but let me just call my product specialist to double back and make sure. Give me one second. I don't even ask for permission. They will respect you more and they will keep their plan because you made a conscious decision to double back and get a second opinion to make sure you were putting in the best plan possible. It's the same if you were going to go to the doctor and the doctor told you you had six months to live, but let me double back and let me go do some more research right so that we can make sure that this is the right information it's the same thing right um so definitely calling in the home calling in the home before you sell the product and calling a product specialist okay guys and then reading all of your emails right some of these carriers require uh, a little bit more of information before they can issue and come up with a decision and underwriting for a policy make sure you're checking your emails and if you don't check your emails guys a lot of the times if the client waits too long to get approved, they're not going to want to go with you for life insurance. They're not even going to want to keep that product that you spent so much time in, in that home, helping them with. Make sure you're checking your emails because with your emails and your mail, guys, okay, what comes in the mail are those chargeback letters. What comes in the mail is any one of your agents that may potentially be rolling up a debt. All right. What, what, and I know that be before this company, guys, a lot of you in, in I would say myself too, before I got into insurance, when, when bills came in the mail, I didn't, I just threw them to the side. I didn't want to even look at them. It's stressful, right? But here you can make a lot of money, guys, but you got to open up those emails so you can keep your money in your house, in your pocket, okay? Be aware of what's going on in your business. And guys, hey, listen, if you can't do those simple tasks, more than likely you will get put on as earned. And I know I saw someone in the chat say they would rather get paid as earned. No, you do not. Kali just said it. I can't believe anybody would make a comment like that after she just said, scare money don't make no money. Playing it safe don't get you anywhere. Play, if you ever worked a job and got fired, playing it safe don't get you anywhere. And I'm not knocking a job. If you like it, I love it. But I'm talking, a lot of you on here want something bigger than yourself, right? 
when you get paid on as earns, you're only getting paid pennies on the dollars each time the client makes a payment that month. If they don't get, if they don't make that payment that month, you're not getting paid. So you can either choose to get paid thirty five hundred or five grand, however much up front, or you can get paid thirty five dollars a month. I don't know about you, but I can't pay my bills that way. I can't feed my son that way. But if you don't do the right thing, you can get put on as earns and eventually terminated out of the business because we don't want any bad apples. And guys, you already know what happens when you have a weed in your garden. If you don't pull it, it, it sours all of the other flowers. OK, so we want to keep a clean cut, uh, a clean cut business. All right. Um, um, and then I want to talk about uh, the does any. Well, before I jump into this next part, does anybody have any questions about what I just went over? Perfect. OK. Um, so I want to talk about um, the seven the seven things of, of 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 the seven important qualities of business business ethics. Okay, and you can use this when you're hiring someone. You can use this when you're you know having a come to Jesus moment with yourself, just wanting to become better and be better as just an individual, a business partner, a leader in general. But number one, um, be having integrity, guys it helps with hiring talent. I can tell you right now, Kali and myself and a lot of the leaders that have a business on here that, that have been hiring consistently, we've built our entire business off of our character alone. This is why we get people that can play with us and we, we get people that can't play with us, okay? You're not gonna be able to satisfy everybody. But what I can tell you is you have to be very conscious and aware of who you spend your time with. Shall I say that again? This is why Colleen and I have people that can play with us and people that can't play with us because we don't allow everyone and anyone in our space, just like we don't allow any and everyone in our business. Now, if you're a massive hire and a massive recruiter like we are, yes, you're going to get some bad apples that come into your business that sneak their way in, right? But identifying those qualities fast will let you know who you need to spend your time with and who you don't and who you need to watch out for and who you need to keep tabs on, right? And this is why business is not for everybody. And this is why we make a lot of money, right? Because if it was easy, everybody would be doing it, but it's worth it, right? It's definitely worth it. And you got to do the small things and the tangible things now. We're not talking about forever. We're talking about getting concrete for two to three years, guys. Two to three years having your head down and staying focused so that you can spend the rest of your life doing what you want, when you want, how you want. And how do I know this? Because take a look around at your circle. Take a look at your mom, your dad, your uncle, your sister, your cousin, your brother, right? Or even people who have, are before you. If they've been on a job, they've been there long enough, they're not happy. They're not. They complain about their, even when they retire, the retirement money is not enough. So you got to ask yourself, do you want your next 10 years to look like your last 10 years? And if you don't, guys, you got to do something different from today. You got to be on it. You got to be on it, like white on rice. You have to be on it. And whether you're spare time, part time or full time, either way, you got to do this business. And again, if you don't do the right things and you can't handle it, you won't be blessed with the things that, that are owed and due to you. The reason why Kali is blessed with the business that she has because she made the sacrifices and she stayed focused and she has her head down. When I follow that, I get the same thing. When you follow that, you get the same thing. You can be on track for the same thing. God doesn't give you more than it, that you can handle, right? But you got to do all the things that are necessary in order to have that blessing. Just like if you don't have faith, you won't have anything. Faith without works is dead. But those two go hand in hand in the recipe for success. Okay? So treating people good and having integrity helps you to hire talent. Number two, it prevents malpractice. When people know they can't play with you, they can't just do anything in your business. If you're not, listen, <laughs> You got to inspect what, inspect what you expect. If you're not paying attention, you're more than likely you're not going to get blessed with the money that, you're, that you want to make. So pay attention to what's going on in your business and be on it so that you can reap the benefits and see what's going on with the people that's in your business as well. And I'm going to be honest with you. All of us have to take accountability for ourselves. I take full accountability of the stuff that goes on in my business because I didn't lay down the expectations. When you lay down expectations, people can't play with you. Then you know how to have the conversation. If you don't put the expectations in place, people will do anything because you didn't tell them what was right or wrong. So this is us 
having our expectations out on the table so you know exactly what to do moving forward. That way, if it doesn't get done, we can refer back to this conversation and say, well, weren't you on Saturday training? Didn't we go over that? Why weren't you paying attention, right? Um, number three, it increases your trust among the public. The public already has zero trust. They have zero trust in our government. They have zero trust in their neighbors. They have zero trust in their relationships. Why do you think they're gonna trust you if you don't show any type of character worth being trustworthy of, right? People are, if you don't think people are watching, people are watching. And I always say this, your team will do half of what you do. And if you do half of anything, they'll do nothing. And if you do nothing, they will quit. So you need to start doing something today, right? Is it going to be a challenge? Yes. Are you going to fail forward? Yes. Are you going to make mistakes? Yes. There is no instructions on how to be a mother or a parent. There's no instructions all right, on how to run a business, but we do have things to put in place and instructions for you to follow, all right, in order to not step on those landmines that we've already stepped on, if that makes any sense, right? We all come from different backgrounds, and if I asked anybody if they're going through anything right now, all of us will raise our hand, but I can tell you the ones that are doing something about it, the ones that are going to work, those are the ones that are going to be blessed. Because it's not, it's, it's not what you're going through, it's how you respond. It's how you grow through it. You have to grow through it. And you can either sit in your hill and get burned or you can run through it and never get caught on fire. You have to decide how you're gonna to respond to your adversity because adversity will come and it's coming and it's here and it'll always be here, but you have to learn how to grow through it. And every time it's gonna be easier and easier because guess what? For me, it don't matter what I go through. Somebody can tell me today, Corinne, you got a $50,000 debt. Great, where do I go to work? And next time it's not going to happen because I'm not going to hire somebody with those qualities. Right? So you got to decide how you're going to play this game. Number four, it helps in you making better decisions. Guys, we're all about the, we are where we are right now because of the decisions and the choices that we have made letting, leading up to this point. If you drink, if you drink long enough, your, your, your kidneys are going to fail. If you smoke long enough, you may just get lung cancer. And listen, if you smoke, you like it, I love it, right? That's fine. But what I'm saying is most people don't put the cheeseburger down until they find out they're diabetic. We don't want you to get diabetes and in insurance. We don't want you to get lung cancer and in insurance. We don't want you to experience that chargeback. So do the necessary thing so you can start making better decisions because here's the thing, the consequences that come into play are a direct result of what you do. So you can either decide, is life really just playing with you? Is the devil really just playing with you? Or are you just not making the right decisions and you're suffering the consequences, the consequences of the choices that you made because you decided not to do the right thing? I'm just saying, guys, we, these are the chin checks that I have with myself each and every morning, right? So that I can be a better person, but you can too. Number five, it helps you establish great relationships with other business partners. Other business partners in this business are watching. And they're watching to decide if they want to invest and help you or just leave you alone. So you got to get in the circle. There are people waiting to help you, but you won't get up and speak and you won't do the daily task that it takes for someone to even recognize you to help you. Right. Kali and I stay so much in the inner circle because there's people above us that can reach back and pull us up. But if we don't fight hard to get into that space where we have leaders that are recognized us, we'll never be able to have guys. You got to find somebody that has what you want and do the things that they did so that you can have what they have. And you got to do the things that you don't want to do so that you can have the things that you do like having that most people won't ever have because they'll never get off the couch to even do it. They will never even try. Because I always say this, guys, before you're really, really good or great, you got to be good. Before you're good, you got to be bad. And before you're bad, you have to at least try. And if you're thinking to yourself, what if you won't make it, you won't. If you're thinking to yourself, hey, I'm going to make it, you will. Whatever you're thinking is in your pockets and your subconscious mind doesn't know right from wrong. It only knows what you tell it. So that's why you have to start talking to yourself good, treating yourself good and doing the right thing so that you can have the right things coming to your life. Um, number six, it increases customer satisfaction. When clients know that you're doing the right thing for them and you're going to the extra mile to make sure that they're taken care of and they're covered, they'll stick with you for a lifetime. Come on, knows this, right? If, I, I, I always emulate, you know, what Kamal is doing and how he treats and when you smile and when you laugh and you crack jokes and you call your product manager to make sure you're putting him in the right or the best position possible and you take the time out your day to explain the product so they don't go anywhere else. 
people are watching, your team is watching, the leaders are watching, and your clients are watching. They're watching to see if are you going to double back and follow up and call them just to make sure they got their policy and it came in the mail and that they got approved. You're following up on your emails. Do all the right things so that you can have the right things in this business. All right. And number seven, it protects society. As I stated and double back to what I said from the beginning when I started talking, right? Make sure you're doing the right thing so we can protect these families and they have the right product. It's nothing worse than having someone new coming in and they don't want to get the help they need and selling the wrong product to the wrong client or giving a teammate the wrong information. Let us help you make your job easier and make your life easier by staying plugged in and being connected. And I'll leave you with this, guys. Everything is about communication. Situationships, businessships, partnerships, marriage, nothing works unless communication is involved. And I don't care how, how, how it looks. If you think about a football game, an active football game, the coach is yelling at the players from the sideline. The one who's never played football before would think, oh my God, why is the coach yelling at them like that? They must be upset with them. No, they're not. The coach is yelling at the player on the field. Number one, they're far away. But number two, they are yelling at what they need to do so that they can win the game and score the touchdown. We are yelling at you, not literally, guys, but we're passionately speaking to you because we want you to win. We have an invested interest in you. When you don't win, we don't win. When you fail, we fail as leaders. So to one looking in that has never played the game, of course they would think that way. And if that's your mindset, Kali is yelling at me. Kali is upset with me. We don't move or operate off emotion. It doesn't do us justice. But we're passionate about the things that we talk about because we've seen what happens when people don't listen because we we have done it before. <laughs> we're trying to get you not to step on, these, step on these landmine guys so you don't blow yourself up, okay? So the conversation I'm having from today, we absolutely love you. We want you to win. Don't ever think we're moving off of emotion because emotions get you killed in business. We're always thinking logical. We're always thinking about how we want you to win, but we can't want it for your own family. We can't want to win for your family than you would want for your own. I'm sorry. Nobody's going to work harder for me and my son than I am for myself. I'm sorry. She's not. Kali is not. I am. Right. But you got to do the same thing for your family. So if you're not happy with where you are right now, right, if you want more out of this deal, if you want to be the best at being spare time, part time or even full time and taking this thing all away, we got your back. We're a team. We're a unit. Let's start operating and acting as such. And let's take the message that we got today and let's apply it to our business so we can run an efficient, effective and a profitable, successful FFL business. And uh, we got one minute. All right, guys. So thank Corinne. Everybody said thank you. Thank you guys for joining this morning. Um, the training will be on the FFL Fury YouTube channel on Monday. Um, when we get off here, we will be on the live dials. We are dialing. I'm going to be dialing for Sunday. Corinne is doing phone sales. Um, so if you want to learn how to get good on the phones, get on live dials. And yes, live dials will be open on Monday, guys. We are McDonald's and we don't close, right? And so you, we on Monday is Memorial Day, but we that's the best day to dial because people will be home. Right. Because they're off work and it'll be a little bit more relaxed, actually, too, because it is a holiday. Right. So get on the dials on Monday. Get on the dials today when we get off of here in another few minutes. Have a great week, guys. And run, let's run it up, guys, together. Have a good one. Thank you. Love you guys. Bye.